all right everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to start our social media based publication named connect me and uh, we will create a new uh, laravel project from scratch and install some dependencies and clear so that we can carry on from the, the next video so i will create a project composer create project laravel slash laravel and we will call this connect me and I will hit enter. Let's wait until this is completed. So now it's done. Let's cd into that directory. So connect me and now I will fire up the code editor in this current directory. So code period and that will open up the code editor. As I am on a Windows environment, so I have uh, installed Jam Development Server and uh, it's uh, up and running. So I will come here to the env file and uh, here I will change the app url to 127.0.0.1 and 8000 port number and I will change the name to connect me and uh, the database name will be also connect me and I will save this and I will then come to the um, terminal and uh, I will uh, add these link the storage so php artisan storage link and now that is done uh, now uh, we will need to uh, create migrations so I will come here Uh, let's uh, add the required migrations to the user uh, required fields to the users table and uh, uh, after that we will create our uh, upcoming migrations so here uh, i will rename the name with the first name and i will add string property last name and uh, set that to nullable and copy that from here and paste it here now i will add uuid um, we will need that uh, when we want to display a specific user profile so that is uuid not string uid and then we will add username field so i will copy that and username then we have email uh, we already have email so we will add a unique uh, mobile number so let's say mobile and then as we have the email verified it so we will add mobile verified it that is the boolean value and uh, as for mobile verification you know we will need uh, some kind of verification code that we will send to the user so let's add that so that is a uh, mobile uh, verification underscore code and that is nullable so set that to nullable and then uh, we will add description like the bio so let's call that descriptions for now so table and then let's say that is a uh, text and description and set that to nullable all of them will be nullable so that the user can fill anything they want and leave the rest of them so now the next will be the uh, password we already have also the thumbnail or uh, and then the icon so thumbnail Set that to nullable and duplicate that and add icon or we can say profile that will be the profile icon actually so the next will be the user gender so uh, and that will be the enum property so dollar table enum and we will have gender and two values the one will be male second will be female and after that we will have the relationship status so table 
uh, string so relationship also we can add that as enum so I will copy that and uh, uh, relationship is like this remove that and um, we can set like single and married as well as I can I guess we can add like engage or engage and then we will add some other properties like uh, table of string the location of the user we will set that to nullable so if someone does not want to show their location they, they, leave, they, they can leave that here and then we will add address as well uh, then we will add some boolean properties so like we allow you will allow user to set uh, their profile as uh, private so boolean is private and set that to like uh, I guess we can set default value so the default will be pri uh, uh, private as one uh, zero so that everyone is not by default private if someone want then they can set uh, their self private and then we will set uh, as band so that will be if, if the user is doing some, something bad on the application and the administration uh, will be able to ban that user from the application so I guess that is it uh, these are the fields that we're going to be adding to the users table and then uh, we will uh, in the next video we will be adding uh, the, the other migrations to our application so I will see you in the next section